Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom and today I am super, super excited because I have my hands on the Monster High Holiday Winter Edition Draculaura and it wouldn't be here if it weren't for my good buddy Tony from LJ Play. So be sure to go follow him. Tony is an awesome guy, he's a super good friend of mine. Link is in the description to follow him on Instagram or YouTube. But he uh, actually sent me this because he was able to get a, a double of it and so I'm, I'm just personally lucky. So thank you Tony, seriously, I really do appreciate it. Anyway, let's take a look at this beautiful doll. Look at this, Monster High Holiday Winter Edition. And you can see all these little spider webs all over the box and everything that are kind of, there's snowflakes and spider webs that are kind of made out to look like they're snowflakes, but it's just a cool design for the box. Uh, Dracula looks beautiful in the box as well. And so if you're an inbox collector, this is definitely one to have. Uh, we have that same theme with the webbing and the snowflakes going around the side and on the back here uh, we do have a little read up at the top if you want to pause the video and read that for yourself you can go ahead and do so now it's in many different languages actually um, but you can see that we have more art for Dracula the the doll actually photos of the doll and if you want it on the bottom here we have the barcode so you can go ahead and screenshot that if you want to try to find her in stores though I don't know if she'll be in stores or not I'm not exactly sure about that but this is such a beautiful box right here. I really do enjoy how this looks. It's just so, uh, it's, 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 it's hard for me to want to take this, uh, to take this out of the box because instinctually I don't because it looks so beautiful, but we're here to review it. So let me go ahead and get Draculaura out of the box so we can take a look at her together and I'll tell you what I think. Real quick, I did want to show you the insert here. Um, once we open the top of the box, you can easily slide out this middle piece right here. If you wanted to just take a closer look at everything, look at how cute that is. The little spider webs and the skulls and the snowflakes hanging down off this giant spider web up here at the top. It just looks really cool. Um, so anyway, that being said, I got to cut all of these little things off the back. There's a little certificate of authenticity back here. Um, taped to the back of the box and then we have the stand base here as well. Let me go ahead and get her out of here so we can take a look at everything. All right, so I have everything out of the box here laid out on the table. There's really not much to talk about here. We have uh, the stand and the back support piece and everything and it says Monster High at the bottom. Um, it doesn't appear to, may, maybe it has a little bit of a different design. I don't think so though. I think it's pretty much uh, the same other than the sparkles that we have going on here in the stand base and everything. So that'll just snap together like that and you're good to go with uh, your stand. Really, that's that's all there is. Um, and then we have the doll. We have Miss Draculaura here. So starting out by taking a look at her face, look at how cute she looks. Oh my goodness. I love that we have a little bit of a glittery heart right there with her little heart on her face. Uh, it's got like a little bit of shimmer to it. And I love the lip color, the beautiful eyes. She does have a little bit of tinsel in her hair, as you can see, that runs throughout. Um, and so I, I think this is Saran, obviously, uh, also, I think. I'm not the best expert at uh, def f defining or figuring out doing detective work on the hair, but I think it is because it feels the same as some of the other dolls that I know for a fact are. Um, but she does have tinsel in her hair and she has these beautiful earrings on each side. Look at that. So cute. Little bats with little pearly balls at the bottom of them. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think that she looks absolutely amazing as far as the face goes. I love the bangs here too. They cover up uh, her top eyelashes a little bit, but there are no rooted eyelashes on this doll. Um, so keep that in mind and look at everything here. Oh my goodness. I just absolutely love her. And the full outfit here is very beautiful as well. Um, so we do have these little, uh, things on her arm and they're being held on at the finger right there as you can see she has a little bit of a little bit of a piece of string right there holding that on her hands and over here on the other side as well um, she does have a little rubber band here that I didn't take off from the unboxing process um, but that's yeah she's kind of rubber banded in there it's kind of difficult to get this doll out of the box in my opinion um, but that's not that big of a deal and then of course I forgot to mention that we have this beautiful like tiara up here um, that is part of her hair clip. So it's kind of 
stuck in there. Uh, it's definitely like rubber banded to her hair. So it's not gonna really move out of place if you wanna keep that in place. Um, she does have this other little plastic piece right here that goes around her neck and just like a little chest plate right here that looks absolutely stunning. And then we have the belt right here um, with little pink polka dots all around and black glitter, bl black and glitter on there. Um, now, as far as the dress goes, it feels really nice. This is all stitched spider web on here. Um, so it's, or well, I don't know if it's actually stitched, but it's raised, I should say. It's raised spider web. So it's definitely screened on there, but it's got like, a nice texture to it. Uh, that's the best way I can describe it. It definitely looks great, but you can tell that it's not stitched on from the bottom there, but it definitely is like a raised print screen printing on here. So it just feels nice. I don't know. That's basically the point that I'm trying to make here. And then on the backside, we can undo everything via Velcro underneath this big gown right here. Look at this. Look at how beautiful this looks. Oh my goodness. And you can see there's little snowflakes all over it with little hearts in the middle, I believe. It, it just looks it just looks stunning. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words how beautiful this doll is. Um, and it drags out like really far like this. Look at her, oh my goodness. It's such a beautiful doll. Um, and then she has these little floofy parts up on the top of her dress right here, which you kind of can pull into place if you wanna make it a little more or less floofy. You can kind of push those up a little bit like that. Oh my goodness though, yes. And so, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm like, I'm totally at a loss for words because this doll is absolutely stunning and it's just one that, if you're an inbox collector, you should probably just get another one so you can open it because it's just a great looking doll. I mean, I, I really can't say enough good things about it um, the everything from the fabric to the clothing to the style of it at all is just absolutely beautiful. Now these are also screened on here as well. You can tell the little snowflakes, they're not like stitched or anything on there, but they're the black glitter, same as the spider web. And wow, okay, it, this is just a stunning looking doll. Um, that being said, there's really not much else to say about it. We got the stand, we got the doll, Everything looks super gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I'm just, I'm looking forward to taking some pictures of her um, as soon as I get done with this video. <laughs> Another thing that I do wanna take a look at real quick are her shoes and wow, look at these. They have little hearts in the middle of them and little gem looking things all around them. These boots are absolutely gorgeous. So beautiful. And they have, it's hard to see, but they have little snowflakes uh, like extruding from the plastic a little bit. Um, little spiderweb snowflakes. It's, again, it's really hard to see all of the fine details on here um, because it's just something that you really have to see in person. But the boots, oh, they look absolutely amazing. But yes, everybody, this is the beautiful Howliday Winter Edition Draculaura doll, and she is absolutely stunning. But. I would love to know what you think about her down in the comment section below. And uh, if you're new here to the channel, please feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. And if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, why don't you go over there and do that? There's lots of fun stuff happening on Instagram. You get sneak peeks. I post polls in my stories on videos that I'm going to do next to let the viewers decide and everything like that. So. Uh, lots of fun happening on Instagram. Be sure to check that out. And I really do appreciate all the support, everyone. It absolutely means the world to me that you would just take some time out of your day to sit here with me as we unbox a brand new doll. <sighs> Such a good feeling. I mean, it, it just nothing better to make start the day than opening up a new doll. Um, so that being said, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Once again, this has been Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom, and I'll see you later. Bye.